Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Bob's Odd Jobs. Today we're going to make a wasp trap. I've got a serious wasp problem outside um, and I, I've made a few of these traps already. I'm going to make another one. I thought this would be a great video for people to, look, to uh, see how to make. It's pretty simple to make. Uh, you just need a recycled b a bottle. Um, you can use a two liter bottle or you can use these smaller bottles or you can even use a water bottle, plastic water bottle, which most of my traps are made of. Um, tape, scissors, string, and then we're going to talk about what type of solution to put in here. So first things first, you don't need the cap for this. You can put that aside and recycle it. And we're just going to cut off the top of the bottle. Uh, get a hole in it there and then work over there. There we go. So now we have the top and we have the bottom. And basically what makes the trap is, is something like this. So pretty simple, we're just going to tape this up and then put some string on it. So this is our trap. Um, you're going to pay $20 for one of these at the store. I mean, you might be able to find one for, for less than that. But um, I'm telling you, this is extremely effective. So let's add some string and then we can hang it where we like. Okay. That's our bottle. Now we can hang it. Um, now let's go talk about the types of solution to put in these things. Okay guys, so we're outside. I've built uh, five of these traps previously. They've been up for about four days. And uh, I tried different solutions just to see which one was working the best. Um, here we have uh, just sugar and water with a little drop of soap. And there's none. There's none in it at all. Here we have honey and water with a drop of soap. And you can see we've got a few bees in there or a few wasps. Here we have jam and vinegar. Um, again, there's just a few wasps. This was a, a higher percentage of vin vinegar. This one is also jam and vinegar. This was a little bit, just a few drops of vinegar. And you can see we got a few in there. But our number one was just jam water with a drop of soap. That seems to be working the best. Oh, we've got a wasp coming in now. Let's see if he goes into one. Which one is he gonna choose? Where's he going? Oh, he left. Anyway, so jam is uh, a jam and water with a drop of dish soap. That's your number one choice. So there you go. I hope this helps. And let's head back to the table and add our solution into our trap. So we've looked at all the solutions. And like I said, the best one to use is water, jam, and a drop of soap. This seems to be the best option. I'm getting the most amount of um, wasps with this. So it's pretty simple. And take out a scoop of jam, throw it in my water, mix it in there. And one drop of soap. This just breaks the surface tension so that they drown. So that stirs in. Perfect. So now let's get our bottle back. Okay, we've got our wasp trap, we got our solution, and as simple as putting it in the trap. You don't want it too full, but that's probably, I'll just go with the whole thing. So that's probably about how much you want um, and we'll go hang this outside and this is going to start catching more wasps. Okay, so within 10 minutes of putting this up, we've already caught one uh, in there and there's another one flying around here uh, and see if go in there. So long, sucker. So thanks for watching another edition of Bob's Odd Jobs. If you like this video, please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.